welcome to acj tv uh, i am jay narayan tiwari and with me we have uh, boski who, who is quite popular for his uh, cricketing knowledge and he regularly follows uh, the modern day cricket boski uh, has also played for uh, south zone universities tamil nadu under 22 along with krish srikant azruddin uh, ravi shastri and manoj prabhakar and many others boski has also been a commentator Uh, has been a columnist copywriter joke writer worked as a model worked as an actor worked as an rj and what not so uh, ladies and gentlemen we have boski uh, hello boski welcome to the show hi twari hi my dear friends hi to all uh, so uh, boski first uh, we would like to know about you that uh, how how can a person do so many things at such a like in this age like you have got too many things to do you have done so many things yeah success sometimes uh, goes so much to your head that it uh, stops you from proceeding further but failure takes you to different directions so that's what happened so i almost uh, made it to the national level where i goofed up with my leg spin the ball started slipping off my arm i didn't know what to do many people attributed so many reasons to that but ultimately i had to do something different so thank god the humor was a very powerful weapon which was in store which helped me diversify get diversified into a dozen fields so i the, i just used that the communication skill to into real good effect when i started doing commentary and started doing cricket shows i've done about the three world cup shows and three ipl shows on small screen also as we uh, like we know you have played cricket with some of the greats of indian cricket How, what was that experience like can you share it with our audience definitely see the funniest thing was when i was watching this 83 world cup uh, beautiful that was like a classic film when the manager comes to the room to distribute the daily bata the daily allowance i was in tears because shri krishrikant and i we were roommates when we played visi trophy we were handed over 17 rupees per day that was the allowance 17 rupees 17 okay okay It was way back in 1980, of course, uh, when we played South Zone. We won the visit trophy under Sri Khan, so that was very funny to watch that movie there. I was in tears because I almost came close to playing for India, and I just missed by a whisker. And almost two to three players from the same squad of South Zone and West Zone, they were part of the World Cup squad, like Ravi Shastri and Chris Sri Khan. They were in the World Cup squad, so it was a beautiful experience. You didn't have much of coaching, much of specialists, not much of video, nothing to do with video. no mobile phone nothing it was just the landline age and the black and white tv era you had to be on your own everything you used to go by cycle go by bus go by scooter to the ground to play big matches we used to travel by unreserved compartments shri khan me all going in unreserved suddenly we get a seat for reservation then we go and land up in hyderabad we start playing the match the next day straight away it was all totally extempore and totally spontaneous nothing prepared so that was the total difference then to the pre digital era <laughs> so uh, your journey started from cricket and now like you have done so many things like acting and also have uh, you have worked as an rj would you like to just say about that how did how, what was that kind of transformation purely god's grace god's grace seriously god was extremely kind to me because people get worked up because you start feeling that i should have made it to the national level there are so many people come and sympathize with me they say You should have gone to great levels. Ravi Shastri is there. You're looking at Ravi Shastri on the screen. Then Sri Kant on screen. Azhar Din was with me. Everybody was watching them play for India. I was playing in India. That's the difference. But you start creeping about that, then you're gone. I just thought I keep trying something else. That humor was such a powerful weapon, which is part of my system, which helped me gain ground in so many other fields. And then I met a person called uh, Madan, who was an international cartoonist, who who was hitting a famous uh, Tamil vernacular called Anand Devagadan. He spotted my humor and said, "Why don't you start writing for this magazine?" So that's how it branched off. Every time you think it's the end of the career, you think it's the end of the road. Without going to the end of the road, you go to the end of the road and you start uh, peeping there. You find it's just a bend, not the end. And then you find a lot of avenues opening up. So that's how this man started uh, instigating and inducing me to do a lot of humor. And from texting humor, from magazine humor, then I branched off into RJing, then into TV shows. and overall on radio tv internet and on stage put together i've done about 9000 shows in the last uh, 20 to 22 years 
like could you share some like one some best memories when when you like any special moment when you got to do any tv show lots when for example when i met ravi shastri when i was after i almost i gave up cricket about 6 to 7 years later when i watched when i met ravi shastri and i asked him what is the reason that people are booing you every time you come to bat people in brabon stadium the people who used to be your fans are all booing you out out of the stadium what is the reason he said i'm never bothered about all that my bat does the talking i know the guys who boo at me are the ones who come to me for autograph it was autograph days those in those, in those days because mobile phone hadn't uh, made its advent so it was all autograph he, he told me i shut everybody's mouth with my performance so that was a fantastic line and tagline for me in life so everywhere i go i face critics i'm not bothered about replying or responding to them but i keep keep traveling in my route and i do a lot of things every time i started something in a career whether it was radio or tv or column writing or acting somebody will come and tell me it will not work out for you you are not cut up for that it is you are a waste you are a waste so every time i try to do something different the society was always indifferent and then that's the point where you can't afford to lose your cool you don't have to answer them with your mouth you don't have to scream you don't have to lose your cool just have some garlands ready keep garlanding them because he is giving you an opportunity to prove what you are worth so you start working on your own confidence and everything and because your confidence is your best talent so i kept working on that so no wonder i started emerging in about a dozen fields after that so i overall if you say that's the turning point meeting people who try to put you down you have to meet them it is, you, you can up your collar only when you ride or drive skillfully in a traffic jam not when you ride or drive in a, in a, on the day of band so that's the thing people have to oppose you people have to criticize you they are the best people who make you come up to the top that's it that's what boski had to say finally thank you for watching this super diwari thank you so much good luck to you also thank you thank you so much boski